Alright guys, so uh, today I'm reviewing custom firmware 6.60 Pro B9, uh, so yeah, basically I'm just going to show you around this firmware. Nothing really has changed, uh, I just did ME, um, ME1 for 6.60, they got ME1.2, I will be reviewing that next. I like ME better just because there's more options and availability to you. Um, but uh, basically, so this is it. This is for uh, this firmware right here. Um, so I'm just going to show you what's going on with this firmware. So uh, you do have comics. Everything in the settings and everything is still pretty much the same. Um, photo, blah, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> the sends me channels. The music unlimited powered by whatever the fuck. And um, yeah, so let's go check out the games. Uh, yada, you can see. I just installed this. Uh, there's the pro update and the CIPL flasher. Um, save data, things like that. You're able to play minis and things uh, on this custom firmware. You're also able to play all the new games that are up to date. Um, network, pretty much the same. Uh, Skype, remote play, internet radio, things like that. Um, and then you are able to access the PlayStation Store. So uh, we go take a look at this. We can connect to the PlayStation Store really quick. Signing in. Just wait. Boom. And here it is. Here's the PlayStation Store. Totally logged in on the custom firmware. You can go check out the new releases on the PlayStation Store, like so. You can check out the minis. You can check out the PS1 Japanese uh, releases. Uh, you can get your Pulse episodes, like that. Just click on it just like that and read about a little bit there a little bit there things like that so the PSN does work also the video you can download your movies and all that fun shit Dragon Ball Z I haven't seen that shit since I was like nine and then comics you got your comics here for your extras so uh, you can view your downloads over again so like um, nothing how it used to be uh, you used to be able to view your downloads from your PS3 um, but you can't do that anymore. So if you have PlayStation Plus on your PS3, uh, just go on over and um, you'll be able to see stuff you've already downloaded. Um, as you can see, I've already downloaded this on PlayStation Plus for free, so uh, that doesn't really matter at all. I don't know how big is this. Maybe I might download this right now to show you some of the game cap. Uh, Oh, it's 33 megabytes, okay, yeah. Um, nah, fuck it, I won't download that now. But anyways, so that's the PlayStation Store, uh, downloadable games, all that fun stuff, all the new latest demos that have come out. So yeah, that's, uh, that's how that runs right there. So we can exit the PlayStation Store there, check it out, there's your account management and everything, you can manage everything from there. Information board, come up, United States, select where you are, shows you the information store. Um, information about all the new stuff that's come out. Also, um, so let's go check out the VSH menu now. So I'll just, uh, what the fuck? System settings. What's going on here? Okay. There it is. So here's the VSH menu. Uh, your CPU clock. Um, what's been added is, uh, this right here, actually. Oh, no, wait, that was for Emmy. Never mind. It's not there. Um, uh, so, change your USB devices, things like that. Um, the Inferno driver for your ISO mode. And uh, go to the recovery menu, things like that. Uh, shut down device, suspend device. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to pop this out real quick and uh, see if I can show you the recovery menu. Here's the recovery menu right here. The pro recovery menu, main menu. So uh, you can toggle the USB like so. And you can run the PSP game recovery eboot. Go into your configuration here. You got the ISO mode, which is set to Inferno. You can change the fake region, which I just leave that disabled because it really doesn't matter. Um, your USB device again. Hide your MAC address. Skip the boot logo for the game. Uh, you can skip the Sony logo on startup. Use custom update server, which is the network update. 
um, protect flash in USB device mount which is good you want that use the HTML custom save location which is pretty cool use the slim cars on the 1000 why is that enabled <laughs> I have a 2000 uh, bum, bum, bum. version text in SE plugins uh, which basically is just a easier access for you uh, you can set your version text you can copy the one out of your flash zero and put it in SE plugins um, use the USB version text in SE plugins which is pretty much the same thing it's just for other options that you will soon come to find out later prevent hibernation this is for the PSP go only this is a light custom firmware that can be uh, permanently installed with the CIPL flasher but do not use that on the PSP 2000 version 2, 3000 or go models and charge battery when the USB cable is plugged in so let's go back here and go to advanced check this out XMB plugins game pops no DRM engine which is good memory stick speed up you can speed up the memory stick to pop game VSH pop and game game and VSH VSH and pop or always I like to leave it at always just cuz um, hide your custom firmware files from the game which is good block analog input in game so um, trying to think that what that is analog input analog oh, oh right right controls okay never mind all right moving on um charted old plugin support PSP go only do, do, do. now remember on the PSP 2000 version 2 models 3000 and go you will be using the fast recovery by the way inferto and P96 Cache. This is for um, PSP Goes. This stuff right here. Cache. Because uh, the older PSP models don't have that. So if we go back, check out the rest of the stuff. CPU speed. You already know that. Take a look at all your plugins. All your SE plugins that you installed. Registry hacks. Pretty much the same thing. Just you can swap out the button. Activate the flash and WMA. Just like always. Shut down device, reset device, and then we can just go back and exit the recovery menu and come back to the XMB. So, that is custom firmware 6.60 um, Pro B9 custom firmware. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this firmware. Again, I will be making more review videos on other firmwares as well. And so, stay tuned for that. So, I will have this video up as soon as possible which will probably be in about 20 minutes and uh, well apparently not because you're watching this right now but yeah so be sure to check out my blog and website the links will be on top of the video and uh, follow my channel by subscribing leave comments rate and also be sure to put your questions in my moderator for me to answer in the episode your questions answered. So thanks guys. Talk to you later. And enjoy your custom firmware 6609 or Pro B9.